Hello users and welcome to another episodic installation of Above It All, the series in where we mock liberals because they are fucking stupid. So Rashida Tlaib has won her primary, as expected, with a brilliant and absurd lead of nearly double the votes of the closest competitor. And this is what she had to say. Headline says, said I was the most vulnerable member of the squad. My community, reminder by the way, that the squad was a name originally attributed to them racistly by Nancy Pelosi. This has to be understood. In the year of 2019, Nancy Pelosi went on racist tirade after racist tirade after racist tirade, like the stupid liberal ghoul that she is. And then Trump started saying the squad, and then that's where it became like an actual term. That is important history not many people seem to remember or that like it was a small detail that people don't really remember so that has to be understood my community responded last night and said our squad is big it includes all who believe we must show up for each other and prioritize people over profits it's here to stay and it's only getting bigger Thank you to every neighbor, community leader, voter, volunteer, door knocker, friend, staff, and family member. Thank you for believing in me and my team as we serve you. Thank you for showing up for each other and for this movement. The work continues onward. But if you go on, on Twitter and search Rashida Will Lose, which is something that I always love doing, you get a series of extremely hilarious tweets from K-Hive people, Hillary fucking sycophants, fucking losers, and just, it's just great. Y'all, Rashida Tlaib might lose her seat tonight, and just the thought of it puts a smile on my face. So let's click on this tweet and see what the replies are. Ah, oh, never mind. Alright, everyone's owning them. Alright, alright, we're good. I like Rashida Tlaib. She has to learn to compromise. Because she is so rigid, I expect that she will probably lose. <laughs> ah! She's gonna lose. There's a big chance Rashida will lose her primary today. And then there's a US politics poll. Will Rashida Tlaib lose her primary race? Yes, she likely will at 40% of respondents. No, she likely won't, eking out with 42% of respondents. Dude, come on. Like, how dumb are these motherfuckers? Like, I've made so many videos, maybe like three or four, about this race and her in general over the last couple of months. And every time I do, I get comments from people that are like, Oh, she's gonna lose. She's evil. She's stupid. She's a Muslim. And it's like, whoa, you're a liberal? <laughs> a so-called liberal? It's just great. So again, you could just look this up. It's just amazing. All right, let's 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 look at latest. Actually, okay, yeah. All right. And scroll down a little bit. I, one of my favorite memes was all the headlines of saying that Rashida Tlaib is facing tough primary challenges when all the polling showed her with a double lead. Like the polling weeks ago turned out to be right on the fucking money. And it's amazing how someone can have like a 30 point lead in polls and then a headline constantly says, Tough primary race. Ooh, tough primary race. All right, I found some cringe. Democrat Rashida Tlaib is still refusing to endorse Biden. This giving the bros. The fuck? They're still doing this bros thing while talking about a Palestinian woman? Like, Yes, Rashida Tlaib is a hardcore dude, bro. She goes surfing every day, she drinks fucking Bud Light, and she plays Call of Duty on Xbox and says racial slurs. That is totally something Rashida Tlaib would do. She's a total bro, y'all. Thus giving the bros on the far left cover to sit out the election. Oh, no! Meanwhile, Nina Turner recently compared Biden to a bowl of shit. <laughs> Which, by the way is hilarious and then okay so there's a lot of really good response here responses i'm so sick of burners with their hurt feelings introspection what is that just remember 25 percent of them did not vote for hillary 
12%, Trump, 13%, third party. They will do the same thing using these lame excuses. It's a binary choice. Vote for Joe or you're voting for Trump. <laughs> she is working on ousting Trump. This is more, oh yeah, never mind. So I guess she's a Trump supporter then. Cause it's one or the other. Like, keep in mind, like this is, this is a story from a couple days ago, and I covered this, and I got so many liberals talking about how she's a Trumper and she's gonna lose, and it's like, dude, what? Like, what? Well, four more years of Donald Trump, and there may be no government anymore. I'm not kidding. Anyone who sits this out because Joe Biden is not left enough is making a tragic mistake. Again, the thing is, these people cannot read. They do not possess basic skills such as reading comprehension. She said in her interview clearly, she will not endorse Biden because she does not like Biden. However, she will campaign in November in a safe blue district, which will only yield higher turnout for Biden. Right, but these people are just like, any vote that isn't for Biden is for Trump. Uh, I if one truly believes in more progressive values, they need to support Biden enthusiastically and then use it. These people I can't even. Holy fuck. Oh my god. It's just like, I, I really, like... Her district went for Biden by 20 points, right? This may be the help that her opponent, Brendan Jones, needs. Oh my god. I'm gonna start retweeting these. Hold up. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, alright, alright. This is so good. Welcome to the cancel culture. The unforgiving beast. Folks forget or don't realize that this country was founded on compromise. Yeah, like the three-fifths compromise. Oh, black people. They're not people. Oh, well, I think they're people. Eh. so stupid close primary close race i love it i love it keep on this is two days ago three days ago people are talking about how it's a close race even though the most recent polls had her like 20 it like i think it was like 30 points ahead in the most recent poll and it's like what rashida talib is the susan sarandon of justice dems vote brenda jones oh my god i'm gonna click this hashtag <laughs> oh shit all right all right all right Agreed. Especially if you live in Michigan 13, vote for Brenda Jones. She truly cares about everyone and will put Michigan and the people of Michigan over her own political career. Oh my god. I fucking... <laughs> Brenda, know Brenda knows her constituents better than the competition. That they won't name after all. Send her back to Washington to help Joe Biden, who she endorsed. Execute his agenda. Oh my god. Good luck today for a victory. Holy fucking fucking fuck. Send fraud and bigot to lead packing. Yeah, that's right. The Palestinian woman. She's the bigot. Facts and logic. Vote Brenda Jones in Michigan's 13th. It's so fucking... This is so cringy. I could look at this shit all day. Like, what is... Is this like an advertisement? Your money, your money. No. No. What? What? I'm done? I'm done? I can't. I'm done? I'm, I'm done?